What's going on, YouTube? This is Ricky J, and welcome to the 2006 Royal Rumble. We are in Miami, Florida, brother, and I cannot wait to see how this goes down, man. This Royal Rumble was so entertaining. If you forget, man, this Rumble started out with Triple H and Rey Mysterio, and they went pretty much right to the bitter end, to the final three. And Rey Mysterio, spoiler alert, overcame all odds, man, and eliminated Triple H and eliminated Randy Orton at the end to get the victory for Latino Heat, to get the victory for Eddie Guerrero. Holy smokes, man. That was a rumble to remember. I really enjoyed it, man. And I was like, my jaw just hit the floor at the end of it. What I do is before every single one of these nostalgic rumbles, I always watch the actual rumble. And then once it ends, I record the video right away. So I have the memories fresh in my head. So Triple H came out and it was almost like the crowd thought that Triple H was gonna win it all. Just because there were so many close calls that it just was inevitable that he was going to do it. But Rey Mysterio had other plans. But what a run <laughs> Triple H had. He was in there for just over an hour. And Rey Mysterio was also in there for an hour, but two minutes. Because he made it to the finals. But um, yeah, there was nice surprises in this Rumble. It was nice to see Road Warrior Animal in there. It was nice to see, holy smokes, man, Ric Flair still going strong. Shawn Michaels was in there. Tatanka made his comeback, which was uh, pretty cool to see, man. So let's see how things go. Triple H, is he going to be able to redeem himself? This is a tough go, brother. This is a tough go. Coming in at one and going all the way in a 30-man Royal Rumble. So let's, uh, wow, he has like the longest intro. So here comes Rey Mysterio. The crowd was just pro Rey Mysterio. They were also really supporting Rob Van Dam. So I think Rob Van Dam made a little bit of a comeback. I think he was injured. And Van Dam, that sequence with Van Dam and Mysterio in the final four there was incredible. Seeing their acrobatic moves working together was something that you just got to see, man. I really recommend you watching the 2006 Royal Rumble because it had some, just some cool moments too. But here we go. Rey Mysterio, is he going to repeat? So we've been doing these for the last, what, three, four months. I think only once where we replayed a rumble, the actual winner won again. So here we go. So this is, oh, I wanted to tell you, this is on WWE 2K24. Um, so you could actually change, look at that, you could change everything here when it comes to the view. That's amazing. So I love that. This would be here we go. Go from here. Somebody also said that you could, it back you could see the guys coming in, like you could have a camera. Here comes Simon. So sorry for uh, moving the camera around. There he is, he's coming running in. <laughs> so yeah, it's really cool how you could switch things up. And I like this view right here. A little angle. But Simon's in there, going after, oh, and then the thing is, this is um, Simon Dean. Here we go. Three, two, one. Psychosis. So you could also do free camera as well. This is, look at Psychosis rolling in without the mask. This kind of caught me off guard when I was watching it. You know what I'm going to do? 
We're going to go... Uh, and I'm not going to be messing with the camera a lot. I know it's a bothers some of you, but we're going to do it like this so we could actually see the people coming in. Wow. I feel like the... Um, the countdown's quick. Here, there we go. Oh, there's Flair. <laughs> Rick Flair. So that's kind of a cool view, I think. And, uh, oh my gosh, man. That's so cool. There you go. Hide the HUD there. So, wow, Ric Flair. Now, Ric Flair, he only lasted a minute and 20 seconds, and the fans were booing. They were loving Flair. They were loving him coming in. Here we go. Here, there we go. Two, one. Oh, here comes the big show. So, yeah, you know, for the turmoil matches that we've been doing, the gauntlet matches, they walk in. They don't all run in. They got to fix that. So not all guys sprint in when it comes to the rumble, you know, especially like Big Show. Big Show just was taking a sweet time, you know. But look at Big Show. What the heck? That is not part of his move arsenal. To springboard off the middle rope? Who do you think he is? Rey Mysterio? Here we go. Here comes the coach. Yeah, it's kind of cool. And how they um, blur it out. Here comes Jonathan Coachman, who lasted a cool 30 seconds. Unbelievable. Let's zoom out just a touch here. Nice. Look at old man Flair. Aging like a fine wine. Don't tell me Triple H is going to be done. Triple H is... No way he survives. <laughs> that is awesome. Surviving. And who's this? Oh, Bobby Lashley. At number eight. Lashley sprinting right in. This is a... Uh, yeah, I like this view. You can see exactly who's coming in. But Bobby Lashley's got to be careful here. Oh, double Russian leg sweep there by Triple H of the Big Show. Oh, the coach. Not out yet, man. And Bobby Lashley. I like the um, sizing up between the Big Show and Bobby Lashley. Oh, Lashley still in it. The Big Show's exiting game, his elimination game. He needs some work. His nice job with the little, little uh, hip toss there. Little judo throw, and now he's trying to go after him again. Oh, a big boot, but this time he gets it. And down goes, look at this. There goes Lashley, out of it. Oh, pedigree, did you guys see that? <laughs> pedigree by Triple H, and now Mysterio going after Flair. Oh, look at this. Oh, I love that. What's that move called, though? I know it's a DDT, but like, holy cow, Rey Mysterio giving it a little bit of flavor here. Let's look at this. Is he going to eliminate the big guy? Oh, he tries to go with the right hand, doesn't get it. Triple H doing the right thing. See that? Triple H doing the right thing and just chilling out a little bit. Here we go, to the corner. I want to show you this. I love how this uh, ring, see this ring right here? How it has the exact thing. Oh, there goes Psychosis. The exact labeling of the 2006 Royal Rumble. Look at this view. Man, I'm loving this. This is awesome. Here we go. Oh, and sprinting in. I don't think I've ever seen Kane sprint in. He usually walks and then he does that little neck movement side to side as he's marching in. But Kane, let's see. Oh, nice job by the coachman. And coachman, he's rated a 69 in this game. Let's get back to that middle camera angle. Oh, Simon Dean. Simon Dean is done. So here we go, let's see. Who is next? Three, two, one. Who is this? Who is that? Sylvan? 
Oh yeah, Sylvan. I th yes, that's Sylvan. Imagine he wins this thing, and that would be, yeah. <laughs> Look at Simon Dean just taking his sweet time and uh, disappearing in the uh, background there. But Sylvan and Co the Coachman. Look at Coachman sending a packing. What a job by Jonathan Coachman. Sending him packing. Oh, nice job by Mysterio on Flair. Triple H with a nice little move. Who's coming in now? Carlito. Look at Carlito rolling in. I want to show you guys. I love this camera angle. Sorry I'm moving it a lot. A lot but you could also do like, you know, um, third, fourth row like you got floor seats. Isn't that so cool, man? I like how they did this to the game. It's amazing stuff. But anyway, let's get back to the action here. Triple H eliminating Carlito. And look at Flair. Flair's looking good with the chop. And now could Kane be in some trouble? See how Kane ducked there? Oh no, Kane is done. What a job by the Big Show. Here, here we go, who's next? Who is this? Oh, it's Chris Benoit. Here comes Chris Benoit. So let's see how Benoit does. Benoit in this one lasted 30 minutes and got eliminated pretty late in the game here. But Benoit, Jonathan Coachman. Oh no, there goes Flair, going flaring out of there. But Coachman at a 69 overall is doing some incredible things. But... There we go, who's next? Who could it be? Look at Triple H. I love how Triple H and Mysterio are still in there. Here comes Booker T, who was just recovering over a groin injury, I believe. And now he's in, and he didn't last very long. Booker T lasted 18 seconds, and he got quite the pop when he came in. And look at this, look at, oh no, Mysterio's done. He's not gonna repeat as Ray. Oh, shaking his head. Look at him, look at Mysterio. Mysterio's like, what just happened? Oh, no. Okay, who's next? Who's this? This is um, Joey Mercury. Joey Mercury coming in. Wow, he looks like the third member of the Rockers. Shawn Michaels, Marty Jannetty, Joey Mercury. Oh my gosh, but I am so, so impressed with Coachman. Coach is still inside this ring. Here we go, who is next? Three, two, one. Tatanka! <laughs> so we're at 15. Tatanka rolling in at 15. Come on, Tatanka. How crazy would that be if he wins? And I want to tell you guys, we are going to take all the winners and pop them into one Champions Rumble. My question to you, and let me know in the comments, do you want me to stop at 20 or should we stop at 30? Because right now, this is like, I think the 18th episode. So we have, we're gonna have 18 winners. Do you want us to do a Champions Rumble at 20 or a Champions Rumble at 30 competitors? Let me know. Here comes, um, this is, wait, this is um, Johnny Morrison, but he's Johnny Nitro. Johnny Nitro. And Morrison, Morrison was an incredible athlete, man. Great wrestler. Johnny Morrison. Yeah, but he goes by Johnny Nitro in here, but I feel like the ring in this angle looks smaller. Well, that's a good thing, though. Giving me WCW vibes. But here we go. These guys working hard. Triple H still in there. And he's doing some good things here. You got Benoit, you got Coachman. How is he still surviving here? Oh no, is Triple H gonna survive yet again? Triple H survives again. And in the 06 Rumble, 
Hunter Hearst Helmsley, Triple H, he had six eliminations. Rey Mysterio had six eliminations, but he had a lot of late eliminations. Look at this, Booker T. Oh, nice elbow there by Triple H overcoming that attempt. Sorry, yeah, yeah, there's a better view right there. The upper view is now. We're going to zoom in. To, I told you in the beginning of the video I wasn't going to mess too much with the camera. It's, it's, it's addictive, man. Look at this. Oh, Joey Mercury survives as Benoit shaking the old cobwebs. And let's see now. So right now, there's two, four, six, eight. So another guy won't come in until somebody's eliminated. And oh, Merc, is that, that's Johnny Moore. That's Johnny Nitro's done. So now that Nitro is done, they will hit the clock. The boys in the truck are gonna hit the clock for the next guy to come in. And now his tag team partner, oh, his tag team partner was gonna go. The coachman is gone. Triple H said enough of Jonathan Coachman go back into the booth and how about that the big show oh the big show going with the old uh, <laughs> going with the old uh, nice little switcheroo right there and how about this Benoit takes care of the big show and also Joey Mercury is done because now we're back to four or at four Triple H, Booker T, Benoit Tatanka. Here we go. Who's this? Trevor Murdoch, I think? So I can't see any of the, the names, which makes it look like more of a real broadcast. But look at Murdoch. Big man Murdoch. He's going to get... Oh, man. Oh, <laughs> pedigree. But Triple H kind of... Didn't take that too well, even though he was giving it. There goes Tatanka. And that was not a prime time Tatanka. But Benoit takes him out of there. Now Trevor Murdoch could be in some trouble here. Who's coming in now? Don't tell me Murdoch. Murdoch's done. Here comes Eugene. Oh no, oh no! What? What a sequence. Booker T done, Triple H done. And now it's Benoit. And Eugene. Let's see if Eugene could do something here. Eugene lasted 16 minutes. Didn't have any eliminations. But what happened there? Here we go. Look at this. The Crippler going right after him. Here we go. Who's next? Oh. And here comes Animal. And Animal, when he came in, he wasn't in the best shape of his life here. But look at him. Let's see if he could rewrite the script and win it. That would be nuts <laughs> if he could do it. Oh, Eugene's done. And now we're back down to two. How interesting is this? So an out of shape Animal, even though he's got the experience, is not... Oh, man, I don't think he's in the best uh, mindset here to do this. As Benoit going right after him. And here comes Rob Van Dam. Oh my gosh, it's heating up here. Rob Van Dam. And let's see if Van Dam, this is great for Van Dam because uh, I'm saying his name a lot, I know. But um, he's got space, yeah, to do just that. Let's see if he goes off the top rope. Do some old flipperoonies there. I want to see a frog splash. But Benoit going after him. Oh, nice reversal there. Van Dam, oh, he took the took the scenic route there. Should have gone in one one way. Oh, big boot! Here we go. This is a, a Orlando Jordan. There he is, Orlando Jordan. And he lasted quite a bit. 16 minutes in the Rumble. Oh, oh, it's the weight there of Animal. Couldn't get there in time. Right idea, but um, sometimes, you know, when you're not in shape, your mind's telling you to do something, but your body just can't uh, line up what you're thinking, if you know what I mean. <laughs> That's what happened with the animal there. Here we go. Coming in now, Chavo Guerrero. Chavo Guerrero at 22. Let's see how Guerrero does. 
Orlando Jordan with a nice move there on Guerrero, slowing him down. And um, it's almost like Benoit using a little Greco-Roman wrestling here to slow down Rob Van Dam. Animal's equal to it. Now Animal with some leg kicks, followed by some body shots. Oh, and he's got that big boot. He's got that big boot, man. Here we go. Oh, Animal's still in it. What a run for Animal. Coming in now is Matt Hardy. So, oh, thank you so much for the sub. Ben Carr. Shoutouts to Ben Carr. Oh, no. The Ricky J curse has hit. Oh, man. If you're unsure, I, I've said this before. The Ricky J curse is every time I pump the old tires of some guy, they get eliminated. But what a run there for Animal. Not coming in. The best shape did a great job from when he was in there. So here we go, who's coming in now? And look at this, Benoit could be, no, he's not done. And here comes Super Crazy. So Super Crazy getting a late entry. I believe this is number 24. As Triple H and Rey Mysterio are done. And somebody made a comment saying, it's cool when the actual winner gets eliminated when we replay these things because then the, it's just wide open. Anything is possible. Nice knee to the midsection there. Oh, wow. What a move there by Benoit and a nice clothesline there by Matt Hardy. And now coming in, Shawn Michaels. He's looking like he's on the sauce as Hardy is done. Shawn Michaels. Wow, Shawn Michaels. Wow, man, he is huge. They gotta bring him down a weight class. <laughs> Look at that. I think he's all right, but wow, he is ripped. As Michaels going after Benoit. Oh. Now let's see who's next. Van Dam breathing heavy. Nice swinging neck breaker. Here comes Chris Masters. Whatever happened to Chris Masters? He got suspended for a violation, various violations on. Um, like uh, banned substances, right? Let me know in the comments. But right now, man, this Royal Rumble is shaping up to being very, very uh, different than what we saw on TV. Here we go. Who is next? So we have Masters at 27. It's Viscera, and I know Viscera came in, what was his name, The Love Machine? Something like that, he came in purple, but I couldn't find a purple viscera. So this is the most accurate viscera that I could find in WWE 2K24. Remember, the game came out not too long ago. I can't believe it, the game came out this month. I feel like it's been out for longer than that. But look at this, Van Dam Could be in some trouble as we're zooming out here. I want to show you guys just something. I know I know some of you don't like it when I mess with the camera, but I just want to show you that you could even, like, look at this. Van Dam could be in trouble. You could even go way back. See that? Like, you could really take it high up into the, into the bleeds if you wanted to. Like, I can go, whoops, sorry, guys. I can go way up, like, right there, you know? And you could be in the, in the nosebleeds so cool how they give you the freedom to do that in this game. And I want to tell you that when we are done with the nostalgic rumbles, um, it's going to be nice to uh, just do those creative rumbles and then seeing people coming out of the curtain that you don't know, you know? That will be, it'll be awesome. Awesome to see. So if we do a theme rumble, like a cartoon rumble or things like that, when you see somebody come out, it's exciting. I feel like it's exciting to see the surprises. As look at this, Orlando Jordan doing a number on Viscera. Chavo Guerrero and Benoit. Nice neck breaker there by Benoit. And now Shawn Michaels. Shawn Michaels could be in some trouble here. Oh man, that really takes your breath away. But Michaels gets right up. Oh, he's looking to hit the sweet chin music. He hit it, I think, like three times in this rumble. It's pretty amazing. And now, Viscera. Oh, on Orlando Jordan. Going right at him. 
as nobody sees Triple H and Benoit hanging on. Oh, look at this. Oh, and down. Amazing stuff that we're seeing right here as Masters now working on Super Crazy. Super Crazy under the radar, doing his thing. Look at this. Uh oh, Shawn Michaels got to be careful. Oh, no. Michaels, is he going to wiggle out of it? Yes, he does. As we're going to take you to, we're going to take you to the, the floor seats here. <laughs> That's amazing. Man. The old floor seats. These guys going back and forth. Look at these. Oh, no, Viscera could be out of it. Viscera still in it. Unbelievable action that we're seeing. Oh no, Tombstone. He was part of, um, oh no, there goes Shawn Michaels. He was part of uh, Undertaker's team back in, the, back in the day there. Ministry of Darkness. So here we go. Okay, I won't mess with the camera anymore. Or at least for a little while. As now Viscera on the receiving end of super crazy super moves. Benoit still in there, Orlando Jordan is done. Shovel, oh nice job by Shovel, Van Dam is done. And now you got Masters, Benoit, Viscera, Shavo Guerrero, and super crazy. And we only have, I believe three more entries left. Don't tell me Viscera is gonna be done. Here we go. Nice snap suplex there by Masters. Who is next? Oh, here we go. Shelton Benjamin. Let's see how Benjamin does here coming in real late. Benjamin. Nice job by Super Crazy. But Benjamin, I'm telling you, one of the best athletes inside this rumble here. Coming in at a nice number. A Shavo could be done here. Oh, oh, Benjamin's lucky to stay in it. He is lucky to stay in it. Here we go. Who could it be? It's Gold Dust. Gold Dust. And how about this? Benoit and Guerrero working together. As Super Crazy is done. We got one more entry. And um, the last entry is Randy Orton, but it's like a younger Randy Orton. So in this game, he's not like rated super high. Here we go. The perfect entry, Randy Orton. Don't call him Nick Lachey. Here we go, can Orton do it? First Papa, Cowboy Bob Orton. You just never know. But he's got to deal with guys like Shelton Benjamin, Chris Benoit, Viscera. And the list goes on here. No other entries. Here we go. As Masters, nice reversal there by Masters. And he's eliminated Benoit. What a reversal by Masters. Very crafty work. Wow, man. Chris Masters with a masterful work right there. But now he's got to watch out for Orton. Orton jealous of that move, but nice uh, counter elbow. And now Gold Dust. Oh, what? <laughs> Viscera's got the Undertaker's move sets. See how he, <laughs> he did the clothesline with the flip at the end? That is some wild stuff. Speaking of wild, Masters again with that counter reversal elimination. And he's eliminated Randy Orton. Masters is feeling it right here. Chris Masters, he kind of reminds me of like uh, Hercules and Paul Roma. <laughs> Doesn't he? And now he's going after Shavo. Oh, he's unsure where to go. He gave him the old spin -a there. And he was unsure where to go. Now look at Viscera, he knows where to take. Gold Dust, oh no, Shavo. 
Shavo's not done. Viscera trying to hang on. Oh, Master's still in it. Wow, nice job there by Shavo Guerrero. Oh, Viscera, look at this. The big man's done. Shelton Benjamin. That was a great move. And now we're on to the final four. You got Benjamin, Chris Masters, Shavo Guerrero. Uh oh. 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 Masters a little slow to the game there. Got gold dust. And now everybody's teaming up. Look at that. Everybody's teaming up on Chris Masters. And I would too, man. He's got that counter move. That counter move that could take you out just like that. So let's see what happens. Masters slowing down. Oh, no. Oh, nice. I love the athletic ability there by Shelton Benjamin. Finding a way, you know, to hop over and then react right away. Oh, and Guerrero. Oh, no. Guerrero was done. And now we're down to the final three. Chris Masters, Shelton Benjamin, the best athlete in this rumble, and Gold Dust. And look at this. Masters got him up. Oh, wow. Wow. And Masters almost had that uh, vibe of the narcissist Lex Luger. And now, is he going to get it here? I could zoom in. I could zoom in. Is he going to get it? Oh, he's buffering. No. And now, oh, finishing move there by Goldust. And that's um, lucky stuff for Benjamin. And now he's done. Look at this. Oh, Goldust has done it. Oh, my gosh. Goldust has won the Rumble. What a sequence. And the face paint is all crusty on the face of Mr. Rhodes here. But Goldust has done it. One of the best Intercontinental Champions. Yeah, I love Goldust. He's going to our Champions Rumble Season 10. Can you believe that? What a job by Goldust. And thank you guys so much for being here. This was so much fun. Rumbles are so much better in WWE 2K24 with the ability to change up the camera. But anyways, guys, keep it locked here for more Rumbles, more fun videos, and I will see you next time. It's Ricky J. Love you all. Take care.